Welcome to the hidden realm of Porifera, the fascinating spawns of the sea. Today, we will dive deep to discover how these simple yet remarkable creatures filter life essence in our ocean. Stay tuned as we sponge up knowledge on their biology and ecology. Porifera are pore-bearing animals and are commonly called spawns. These are the lowest metazoans placed in sub-kingdom Parazoa. So the study of sponge is called parasology. Majority of sponges are marine except one family called Spongelida. About 150 species belong to this family. These originated in the Precambrian period as their fossils have been reported from the rocks of about 600 million years old. These are lifeless and plant-like organisms, but their animal nature was first recognized by Alice. The term porifera was coined by Robert Grant. General characteristics First, body forms. These are vary greatly in their body form and may be ways like example leucosolinia, cylindrical, euplectella, sepharical, hylonema, or irregular mass of branches, example spongula. Organization. These have cellular organization, multicellular but showing no coordination and cell aggregate plan. Their size range from 1 cm to 1 meter. Most of the sponges are radially symmetrical, example Euplectella, but some are asymmetrical spongula. Now, moving to their body wall. These are diploblastic animals developed from two germ layers. Body wall of adult sponge is also formed of two layers. Outer dermal layer or pinacoderm of flat pinacocytes and inner gastral la- uh, layer or coenoderm of flagellated collar cells or coenoderm whose flagella beat continuously. Coenocytes are present only in spawns. Between these two layers, there is a gelatinous non-cellular mesoglia or mesenchyme. The mesenchyme has many types of amoebocytes. Now, canal system. All the sponges have a peculiar system of interconnected canals called canal system in which a water current is moved so is also called aquiferous system. The central cavity of canal system is called spongocele or paragastric cavity. Canal system may be asconite type, psychonite type or leuconite type. Now endoskeleton. Most of the sponges possess an endoskeleton secreted by special amoebocytes. It is formed of either calcareous spicules secreted by calcoblast or siliceous spicules secreted by silicoblast or of spongin fibers secreted by spongioblast or combination of siliceous spicules or spongin fibrous. Nutrition Sponges are omnivores and holotropic in their nutrition. These chiefly feed on the planktons. These are called ciliary or filter feeders and show intracellular digestion. These are aerobic and aminotelic organisms. Respiration and excretion occur through their general body surface. The food is distributed either by cell-to-cell diffusion or by special amoebocyte called trophocytes. Sponges do not have special sensory or nerve cells, so there is no coordination action of the whole body, but the individual cells are sensitive and react individually. Now, reproduction. Porifera show both asexual and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction generally occurs by external budding or by forming internal budding, which is called gemmules. Most of the spawns are hermaphrodite, but there are no organized gonads. Generally, archaeocytes act as gonadocytes and form haploid gametes. In spawns, there is generally internal and cross fertilization. Finally, development is always indirect and include a free swimming parenchymula or amphiblastula. Hit subscribe for a journey through nature's wonder. This is Professor Ronika Yusuf signing off.